Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and that was One Way Street from the William Scheinstein book, Adventures in Solo Drumming. That one makes your brain hurt because it's constantly changing meters, 7834, 7824, 7834, 7824. So it goes back and forth from those meters pretty much the whole piece. And this is very, very tricky. It's one of the most difficult ones in the book. On top of that, the tempo's fast. It's eighth note equals 240. And you're having to squeeze in a lot of these rudimental stickings, especially these double drags. Very, very quickly. The stickings, as in all of his etudes, are very, very tricky. You do not have to play all of those exactly as he has them written, but it's a good idea and a good challenge to learn them. I don't have that much to say about this etude other than, as with all of them, play it really slow at first and build up to his written tempo. We're just going to go over a few little things here. Once you have that 7-8 pulse, which is 1-2-3, one, 1-2-1-2 two, one, two, one, two, in your head, it becomes easier. And that's how all of these things are going to lay. And then the 3-4 keeps up with that 1-2-3, one, 1-2-3. Two, three, one, two, three. So it's almost like 6-8. So I'll play this slower for you from the beginning, uh, much slower, let's say 200. I'll just play the first line or so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you see how that kind of one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's the way you're doing that. If you're a conductor, you conduct it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one. Like that. There's a lot of pieces like that, especially Stravinsky's music, Rider Spring comes to mind, where there's a lot of those one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Very, very tricky if you've ever played that timpani part. The uh, only technical difficulties with this that are really, really challenging are at letter D, where you have these triplets with drags. So slowly, that sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So try to think of those triplets uh, without the drags at first. And then with them. That's the best way to practice that. Very, very challenging. Uh, the last two lines just be aware of these stickings. They're very, very different. Lots of parallel stickings. I'll play that for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you definitely want to do that. It's very, very cool. Uh, as far as tempos go, um, I would say start it maybe at 180, which is very, very slow, about right here. And build it up from there. This one, uh, there's another one later in the book, we'll, we'll get to that, but... This one is probably the most mentally challenging one in the book. Not the most physically challenging, but the most mentally challenging to keep all these rolls straight, the length of them. You have nines, fifteens, elevens, thirteens, all that. So make sure when you're practicing with it, you slow down my performance of it on YouTube. If you go under settings, you can do that very easily. I would definitely suggest doing that. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, solo, One Way Street, and we'll be back soon with the next solo in the book.